notebooks, toilet paper, cardboard, packaging, and many other products that are part of our daily lives come from the same feedstock, pulp. How about learning each step of the pulp manufacturing process? The pulp mill receives the timber in logs with and without bark. The bark is separated from the wood and taken to a biomass boiler that generates steam, which in turn generates electricity by means of two turbines. The log is first transformed into wood chips. After being turned into wood chips, the material will be cooked in the chip digester. A cooking liquor is added to the process, which is designed to separate the pulp fibers by dissolving lignin. After cooking, the pulp fibers are routed to pre-delignification and bleaching, where the resulting liquor, which is called black liquor and contains dissolved lignin, goes to the chemical recovery process. It is worthy of note that the black liquor is sent to the chemical recovery process and burned in a boiler to generate steam and electricity to make the unit self-sustained in energy, in addition to providing power to other neighboring industrial operations and selling enough power to the national grid to supply a city of 96,000 inhabitants. 99% of the liquor returns to the cooking process. After going through the cooking process, the pulp goes on to the purification, pre-bleaching and bleaching stages. In the bleaching process, we use chemicals to bleach the material. The chemicals act on the molecular structure of the lignin, modifying and discoloring the pulp. All chemicals that are used are highly efficient and environmentally friendly. Through the elemental chlorine-free or ECF process, the operation takes place with a sequence of reactors and washers that use water flowing in counter current, allowing for smart water consumption pursuant with the best global operation standards. Once bleached, the material goes on to the drying and baling stages. The white mass purification procedure is divided into five stages during which the impurities that come with the fiber are separated from the pulp. Sheet Formation Table The pulp is transported with a large amount of water which starts being removed on the formation table where the sheet starts gaining shape. After formed, the sheet goes through a press section which continues removing the water. It then runs through the dryer which in contact with hot air removes water from the sheet until reaching 90% dry content at the exit to the cutter. At the cutter, the sheet is cut into pulp bales and then goes on to the packing lines. The packing section comprises three lines in which the bales are compressed and packed with the pulp itself. They are stacked in 2,000 kilo units, stamped with the company's identification, and then transported to the industrial logistics area to be distributed and marketed. And finally, our pulp is certified according to the chain of custody, ensuring that the feedstock is produced sustainably. Working while investing in society and respecting the environment. This is what brings us satisfaction and recognition.